Hello, my friends. I thought we'd try something a little different and read a chapter book. It's called Mr. Penguin and the Lost Treasure. I'm just going to read you one chapter today. Chapter 1, All Adventures Considered. It was 10.32 a.m. on a Monday morning and Mr. Penguin was twirling about slowly on his swivelly office chair and flipping the end of his beak with a crab stick. He was bored. Today was his first day being a professional adventurer, but it wasn't quite going to plan. Yesterday he'd placed an advertisement in the local newspaper and he'd thought that today his telephone would be ringing its head off from the moment he flipped the closed sign on his office door to open at 9 a.m. It was supposed to have been non-stop adventures, people ringing up with mysteries for him to solve, missing diamonds to find, jungles to run through under a shower of poison-tipped darts, and certain death to be very much avoided. That sort of thing was always going on in Mr. Penguin's favorite adventure books, which had given him the idea to be an adventurer in the first place. this hadn't been the case at all. His telephone had sat tight-lipped and silent. The only noise was the squeak, squeak, squeak of the office chair as Mr. Penguin twirled around and the low, dreary hum of the fan on the ceiling of Mr. Penguin's igloo. This really isn't good enough, thought Mr. Penguin, trying not to look at all the unpaid bills pinned on his notice board. Setting himself up as an adventurer had been a very expensive business indeed. His special hat, with the arrow through it, and the selection of rather jazzy bow ties had cost a fortune, and the rent for this igloo was astronomical. All that was left in his piggy bank was a bit of fluff and a paper clip, and the fish finger sandwich in his refrigerator was his very last packed lunch. If he didn't get an adventuring job soon, there would be no more fish fingers, no more crab sticks, and a lot more grumbly noises coming from his tummy. It would mean packing up all his belongings into his battered old suitcase and hopping on the first boat back to the frozen south. Mr. Penguin shuddered at the memories of stomach-churning waves and icy winds. What I need, he said, is for the phone to ring and for there to be a jolly, exciting adventure on the other end. The words were hardly out of his beak when, would you believe it, the telephone did ring and it rang very loudly. Ring, ring. That is the end of chapter one, and we'll read chapter two soon.